Good morning, Mrs. Aziz. How are you today? Hello, doctor. I'm not feeling well today. I feel like my asthma is getting worse. I wheeze when I cough, I find myself short of breath most of the time, and I cough most of the time as well. I am not sure what medications I can take because there are so many. Do you have any suggestions? Yes, for sure. First of all, it is very important to give you an overview of asthma. Asthma is known as a chronic disease, which means that it is constantly recurring for a person. For a person who has asthma, the inside walls of the airways, or bronchioles, are swollen and inflamed. This makes the airways more irritated, especially when particles such as pollen and dust enter the airways, causing more airway mucus to accumulate and eventually causing the airways to tighten. This is why you have trouble breathing. Asthma does not have any cure, but fortunately for you, there are different types of treatment available in an inhaler form. Some of the types of asthma treatment include reliever inhalers, preventer inhalers, and nebulizers. Oh, wonderful, doctor. Could you please briefly explain each inhaler? Definitely. The first inhaler type is the reliever inhaler, which is usually blue in color. These inhalers give medicine that relaxes the muscles within the airways so that the airways widen and thus more air can pass through. These inhalers are called bronchodilators because they widen the airways. These inhalers are best for people who have symptoms that occur every now and then. The type of medicine in these inhalers include salbutamol and terbutaline. The second type of inhaler is the preventer inhaler meant to prevent symptoms from occurring. For people who have symptoms three times a week, this inhaler is recommended. The preventer inhalers contain the steroid medicine which is used to reduce inflammation in the lungs so that the airways are less likely to become narrow and inflamed again. These steroid inhalers are usually taken twice per day for people whose symptoms increase dramatically. One thing to remember is that preventer inhalers do not give immediate relief of symptoms. It takes about a week or more for symptoms to be reduced and up to six weeks for maximum improvement. The third treatment for asthma is the nebulizer. Nebulizers are machines that turn the liquid state of your bronchodilator medicine into a fine spray in which you take in via a face mask or mouthpiece. Nebulizers aren't really considered more effective than regular inhalers. However, they are only given to people who are fatigued in breathing or people who are extremely breathless. Nebulizers are also used in hospitals for patients with asthma attacks. Okay, thank you very much, doctor, for educating me on the different asthma treatments. So which treatment would you recommend to me? Well, Mrs. Aziz, your report says that your symptoms act up three times a week, so I would recommend the preventer inhaler medicine, but make sure that you do keep the reliever inhaler medicine as a backup as well. Thanks, doctor.